Stupid reactions, idiots. I am Corbin Miles. This is Richard Siegel. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that sound. <laughs> it's like a howler monkey. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. Ah, uh, if you're new to our channel, go and smash the like button, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be part of the notification Can't squad. Stand it. Ring it. Please follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Quite, it's so juicy. It's so juicy. Mm, juice. <laughs> uh, so today, um, we'll be reacting to. Um, say it for me. Megalia. Megalia alive. Megalia alive. Um, it's another tourism ad, I believe. So we did a, uh, a tourism ad for um, Kalala? Kalala? Yeah, Kalala, and I, Kalala. I know we're mispronouncing it, so forgive us. Yeah. It's got a more beautiful pronunciation yeah. than we're giving it. I'll link that right here. <laughs> but it was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and you all <laughs> really requested we do more, more of these tourism ads. And we want to do it, because the uh, more we learn about India, the more we're loving it. Yeah, um, and so this is the most requested one in that video. Please let us know down below what your other most requested tourism ads are. We got plenty here. We can show you places like uh, um, Delaware. Yeah. There you go. Hey, come to Delaware. <laughs> Be aware of Delaware. <laughs> Be aware of Delaware. That's a great slogan. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to everybody who supported us on Patreon. Yes, thank you, thank so, you so much. Thank you so much. You are all awesome. You I are all you. awesome. We love you deeply. Madly. Passionately. Exclusive content on there. Oh, you Exclusive know Exclusive juicy content. Oh, you got two for one. All right. Sorry. Without any further ado, I do, I do. Parting is such sweet song. Yes. Oh, look at that. Our water is never that clear. I love flying. Sometimes when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm able to feel, almost reach out and touch the littleness of the wind. And then I ask myself what it means to be alive. To be able to breathe and walk and touch and see. In these moments I'm forced to believe that there's a greater purpose for every one of our lives on this planet. The quest to truly understand this purpose led me to my life last month. And I came back with more answers than I hoped to see. Oh, wow, that bridge. 
which the structures of modern world began to turn hazy. You bet they turned hazy. The rulebook of society with its definition of money, religion and human identity starts to become irrelevant. And then with every single step, you pull yourself away from comfort and push yourself a little bit towards the unpredictable. Ah, oh, that's gorgeously stated. Nature draws you in and gently lets you out. For once in your life, you embrace the happiness of not knowing what lies ahead. And you realize that rule books are for the shelves. Nice. Life is right there, out in your Holy cow. Uh, the last. This is a great video. Great video. The people of Meghalaya left me wondering if it is indeed possible to hold time space. You see people happily waiting with their fishing nets, at peace with the way of life they have built for themselves. Warm and hospitable, they have struck a smooth balance between advancement, nature and tradition. Their world full of local folklore, simple trade practices and a sharp sense of culture and simplicity has paved the way to happiness. You bet. I'm thinking about for future after maybe uh, maybe 40 years after 25 years it will be living. Living group bridge. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those before, and it's true. When they make those, it's the generation giving to the next generation. They'll never enjoy that. The people making that will never enjoy it. That is awesome. It's beautiful. Step up by it. Looks like it's so gorgeous. The color of or kumquats. The kumquat. Or probably something we've never heard of. Wow. What a great video. And this is on video. Imagine in person. I just guarantee it's the best just the look. Yeah. You may not come back with answers, but you'll surely find questions that lead you to civil discovery. Your time on this planet is limited. Yes. The quest to explore is not. Yes. You make the world and the, the world greenery. Holy yeah. cow. So while you can, take the lead. Go oh, out. Jump in. Wow. Wow. I wow, go. wow, wow. I want to go. You know, my this reminds me of something that, that happened... I've only been to a couple of other places in the world. I've talked about South Africa. A couple, uh, one of them that this reminds me of is when we went to Papua New Guinea. And in Papua New Guinea, which for those of you who may not know, it's just northeast of Australia. It's right there, right above it. And we went to the, this very remote location where the Hula tribe are. Mm -hmm. And they're very remote. Their homes are built on stilts right outside the Great Barrier Reef. And when the water comes in, the water level goes up to the tops. It's almost at the top of the houses. And then when the water goes down, you have to take a ladder to get up to the house. But the simplicity of life, no, I mean, they don't have refrigeration. They don't have anything. And I remember my buddy and I that were there, this guy was fishing early in the morning right there on the water. And he was having a hard time pulling the fishing nets in. So he and I went to help him. And we pulled it in and he had this big catch of fish. And he starts taking loads of fish and handing them to him. We're like, no, 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 no. We don't want to take your fish. And he looked at us like, why wouldn't you take this? He, and he said, this is more than I can catch. God gave me all of this because clearly this was for you too. I can't, because they can't preserve it. Mm -hmm. So in his mind, it was the reason I got more was clearly because I'm supposed to give it to somebody else. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it was, I was blown away by that. Yeah, this, and this looks like that's the kind of experience This video was insane. Oh um, man. I totally want to go here when we come to India. And Which we are coming. It's, we, uh, yeah. we, we, we don't have tickets or anything yet. No, but we want to know. We are waiting for the funds. <laughs> exactly. Uh, when we reach a certain place economically <laughs> that we can afford to do that, we would we would love to we're come. We're gonna do it. We want to see all of India. Yeah, we um, really do. But this it reminded me a lot because uh, my dad he was stationed in Hawaii for a while mm -hmm. or Maui, and so the waterfalls and the mountain ranges that are just lush and green. Right. That's what that reminded me. And then the greenery. I've also been to Ireland. Which yes, the greenery so there jealous. is surpassing. <laughs> I've never seen st stuff so green as I did in Ireland. But yeah. that's that's what it looked like. Yeah, that's how. So I'm guessing it rains a lot. Yeah. Also, that natural bridge was awesome. awesome. I've never seen one of those, but that is awesome. an epic thing to do. I've I've seen a National Geographic about a location about. That's how I knew that about. When they build a natural bridge, the generation that's building that, they're giving it away because it's going to take almost 50 years for it to yeah. be complete. So they're doing all that work 
for their the generation to come. That is epic. Yeah, I and this, love that. This looks like a place that you got to go and spend some. You can't just go in here and like take some pictures and leave. No, you've got to live in this. Yeah, thing when for I go to days. places, my favorite things to do are to go into nature and see Absolutely. all the different beautiful natural things the country has to offer. Jump into ice cold water, yeah. eat food you've never eaten, yeah, see that's, people. That's my favorite thing, not yeah. going into the slums. No, no. Invading people's houses. That's definitely Which not you guys told us yeah. is true, yeah. which makes us very sad. Very sad, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is not what we will be doing. No, but you know what's really cool? The, the impact, somebody jokingly said uh, on my comment, on a comment with when I took my family to go see Gully Boy, <laughs> it's the third time I've seen Gully Boy, and they said they they tagged Ranbir Singh and said you should hire Rick to be your publicist because he's spreading indie all over the place. And you guys really need to know. I think it's evident if you follow us on Instagram and Twitter that we are sharing this with everybody. Uh, our experience. We want people to see these films. We want people to blow the stereotypes that they have of you guys. Um, we want them to know how beautiful you are as a people and as a country. I hear, I've heard like a recent joke about India and it, it really saddened me deeply. And I, I gotta admit, I might have laughed at that not too long ago and just thrown it off into that caricature I had of India and the Indian people. Yeah, I mean, sure I've is. never been that kind of person, but I gotta admit, I probably, I, I've never really appreciated them uh, at all until now. And I'm so, so freaking glad you guys are awesome. you've given us the gift of you guys, which one last question, not statement about this. I've been to, I've been to Iran. I've been to South Africa, I've been to, yes, I've been to Iran, I'll tell you about that later, and I've been to uh, Papua New Guinea, I've stepped in Australia and New Zealand, I've gone to those countries. I've never had, a, uh, gonna get emotional, never had a country come to me until now, and this is by far the most beautiful experience I've had with a, with a country outside of America where the country just embraces you, had the, condescended to, to let me be a part of them. So there you have it. <laughs> we love you guys. I echo the sentiments. He's Regardless crying. of if I cry. He's or crying or inside. I feel the exact same way. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't show my emotions that way. Don't be sorry. It's what makes you beautiful. Don't be sorry. <laughs>